Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've got a little video carousel for you today. It's got a bunch of YouTube videos in it. And when you click on one of them, it'll pop up into a light box. And play the video. And that's a nice little touch to have on your site. So let's get started. It's really easy to do. We're using Elementor Pro to do this today. You will need to have the Pro version of Elementor and you can download either the free or the Pro version from my link below this video. So I've got this page open with Elementor Builder. I'm going to simply delete this row and we'll start from scratch. Okay. So if we go to our little widget matrix on the left hand side here, let's go down and find our media carousel is what we're looking for today. There it is right there. Just left click, drag it, drop it where you want it. And there it is. It's put three images in by default or three bits of content there. Before I do anything else, I'm going to make this row full width so it stretches to the full size of our screen here. So let's go into our section, the little blue tab at the top here. And right at the top in the layout, I'm going to switch the box to full width. And there we go. Now we can go back into our module and we can start creating our own items. I'm going to go into item one here. Now you've got the option, you can make it a carousel or a slideshow with the little images at the bottom there. Or cover flow, which is kind of nice, where you can make it kind of 3D. But today I'm just going to use a simple carousel. And let's start putting our items in here. Now you can have an image, or you can have a video. I'm going to have a video. I'm going to start getting some YouTube video links here. Once you put them in, you can decide on what you want as your image. There we go right there. And we'll adjust these in a moment when I decide how many I want actually fitting across the page. Now I'll pause the video and I'll just populate two, three, four, five, and you can add as many as you like by just adding items here. So I'll pause and I'll get these added. Okay, well I've populated these and I've got six of our items going on there. So we're happy with the slides. Let's go to our additional op options here. We've got pagination dots there. And you can have none or a fractional progress. I'm going to leave mine on the dots right there. I want it to auto play. Auto play, play speed is 5,000 milliseconds, which is five seconds. That's fine with me. You can slow it down by making it more or speed it up by making it left, less. I want it to infinitely loop. I want it to pause on hover so that will give people a chance to read what's going on there. And I want it to pause on interaction. That's pretty much the same sort of thing. I'm not going to use an overlay, but the image size and image fit, image size is fine, but it's kind of squashed in there, so I want it to contain. There we go, and there's our full images there, which is great. And I want a few more slides to actually populate that row. So let's go to our content. We'll go back to the slides. And we can decide whether to slide it, which it's doing at the moment. You can have them fade in or you can do a cube rotate. I'm going to leave mine on slide. We'll do those others in different videos. How many per view? Let's say, let's put five up there. Yeah, that fits quite well. And slides to scroll, just one at a time is fine with me. So it's going to just do one every time it increments. Great, so I'm fairly happy with that at the moment. Let's move back over to our style. Let's go down to our navigation. We've got a little 
chevrons left and right there I don't think I want those and that's our arrows so I'm going to take that down to zero just type zero in there so they become pretty much invisible there pagination is what's below here I'm actually going to change that color to white you see the black dot there that's indicating the active slide I'm going to change that to white you'll lose it in the background but I'm going to change the section background in a minute that'll bring it back so I'm taking it up to white I want it fully visible so that needs to be all the way to the right that's good to go now you can make them bigger or smaller right here And I actually just changed the color of the arrows. I meant to change the color of the pagination, which is right here. We'll do the same thing. We're going to make it white and fully visible. There we go. See, it's lost in the background there. Great. Now our light box. Now this is when we pop up. The default is for it to be pretty much full screen, which is okay. But I'm going to make mine a little bit smaller than that, maybe half the screen size. And I want to see something in the background. Let's just stop this video here. So going back into the module. We're on Lightbox. I'm going to make the video width 100% full width. I'm going to take mine all the way down to about 50. I'm sure you can make it smaller than that if you want by just typing in a value there. But 50% is pretty much going to do me. Now the color of the background was way too dark for me there. It's full black. I'm going to take the opacity down a bit so we can see something through it. Maybe 75%. Let's click on one of these again. There's our 50% video. Let's just pause that. And we can see something in the background now. I like that. Obviously, you fix yours exactly how you want to do it. So, I think we're pretty happy with the carousel aspect now. Let's just finish off by making the background of our section a little more interesting. So, let's go into the section, the blue tab here. I'm going to go to Style. I'm going to go to background type. I'm going to choose a gradient. Obviously, you do whatever you want to do. You've got color and image if you want it. You've got gradient, you've got video, and you can create a slideshow back there. I think a slideshow or video with this would probably be too much. So I'm going to put a gradient in there. Obviously, that's up to you. You can put whatever you want in there. Let's make it fairly light blue at the top there. And we'll make it a darker blue on the bottom. And then I believe we're pretty much good to go. A little bit too dark. We'll be able to see our pagination there. That's okay. That works fine. So when you're happy, hit the update button. And then we can preview our changes with a little eyeball button just next door there. So let's preview our changes. And there it is. There's our little video carousel. It's going to automatically slide. It's going to do it every five seconds or 5,000 milliseconds. When we click on one, it's going to pop up a video that's half the size of the page here, and it's going to have a light box effect that darkens out the background. And there we have it. Really easy to do. And like I say, that is a nice effect to have on your website. So that is how to create a full width video carousel. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.